Hey everybody. Today we're gonna to change the oil in my generator. It's a 13,000 watt generator. And the tools I have is a tarp for laying on. I have a funnel. I have the oil, which is in the toolbox. I have the wrench, which is in the toolbox. And I have a cheap aluminum pan to catch the oil in and dispose of it. So let's open up the, uh, the generator shed. And I will show you what I'm dealing with. All right. you go. I make sure I do this once a year. And since it's coming up on the end of October, it's time to do it. All right. So we're going to be working in here. And this is the generator. So I'm going to get set up and uh, we'll get the camera back on in just a minute. So what you can see here is this is the oil fill port and this is the oil drain port. <clears throat> now underneath the generator I put this pan to catch any oil that comes out of that plug when I remove it. Now that happens to be a 12 millimeter, okay? And that happens to be the wrench that I have is a 12 millimeter right now. I got lucky. I pulled it on the first one. So let me see if we can get a bite on this and get it loose. Okay. I'm gonna go get a 12, uh, 12 millimeter socket and then I'll be back in just a second. All right, I was able to break that seal and uh, take the plug out. And I'm un undoing the fill cap, okay? Because that's gonna be crucial a little later. Now I'm just gonna let that drain and we'll come back to it, okay? But I really recommend using the pan, the little aluminum pan to uh, make sure the oil goes in. Now this takes around 1.7 quarts of oil, roughly. And having said that, what that means is that when you're filling up the, uh, the generator, that, that funnel is gonna go right here, obviously, okay? And you fill that up just until the oil starts to spill out, okay? That's how much oil you're gonna put in. You know you're gonna fill it up until the oil spills out. And that's as complicated as it gets. That's going to be a slow drain on us, so we're just going to let it sit. Uh, pause the camera, and I'll be back in a few minutes when it's done. And just a couple of minutes later, it's drained. That's about as simple as it gets, folks. <clears throat> now, I'm going to put the drain plug back in after I wipe it off. Although, I don't know why I'm wiping it off. It's clean as a whistle. <clears throat> you can see how clean the drain plug is. Now, I think this is the fourth year on this generator for me. And I charge it with a solar uh, charger. And ironically enough, I have a new one coming today just so I can be prepared in case that charger isn't charging the battery. <clears throat> and uh, 
Additionally, we also will be looking at uh, whether or not this battery is still going to work for me this year. And if it's not, I'm going to change it before the season, the season flips on me. <laughs> so at this point here, we're just going to tighten, tighten that back up. <clears throat> Give it a little, how do you do? And there we are. That's tightened back up. Now, we're going to have to get oil in here. And that's going to go right in here. Okay? <clears throat> and we are going to fill this up. We're going to fill this up. I just got my camera situated. <clears throat> We are going to fill this up until the oil starts to come out of here and starts to drip in the pan, which will now move over a little bit to accommodate that. All right. So let's crack open one quart and we'll get one quart in to start with. the first quart. <clears throat> I want to see if I can get a better view for you here of what I'm doing. I know one quart's going to go in just fine. See how we're kind of getting close? Now we'll open up our other 10W30 from last year. And we'll add some of this. Oh, this is a fresh bottle. This is a fresh bottle too, so, okay, here we go. Hope you can still see. Slappy there. <clears throat> 
you can see how that's just about coming out the lip, okay? So that's what we're gonna say is full. Because when we look in here, you can see the oil right at the top, okay? Let me put the cap back on that. And then our oil change is gonna be all set for this year. That's tightened. Now when the new solar charger comes, all right, we will test this solar charger and I'm actually gonna replace it anyway. And then we'll know if our battery's gonna be any good and if the battery's not good after almost four years, we're gonna replace that as well, okay? <clears throat> so that's it. That's it for the oil change in the uh, Duramax XP12000EH. All right, and that's it for this year. I want to thank you for watching. Any questions, leave them in the comments below. I will answer them for you. Thanks again. Have a great day.